Hello, so this is um, um, tips for staying organized in college. I love being in college, and though my work area um, may not always show it, I love being organized and productive. It may seem like a lot, but you definitely don't need to implement all of these tips. Just listen to them and see which ones fit into your lifestyle. Above all, remember that caring for yourself is the most important. Having an organized life on the outside means nothing if you are not happy with yourself and your life. So the right attitude for staying organized in college. So you want to have the right motivated for it, the right attitude. So you will have to be one, well, one, be motivated. I can't stress enough how important it is that you are motivated to tackle the mess in your life. Otherwise, when things get go, when the going gets tough, you will get sloppy. My advice is to make a list, yes, the real pen and paper, of what you want to clean, organize, and manage life. Tack it up somewhere where you will see it when you start to feel unmotivated. Using planning to stay organized in college. So to keep a planner or a planner app, I have my tablet, which I've been trying to use more. Um, I'm not the best about remembering. During the school year, I try to use it religiously to track classes, assignments, social plans, everything. Uh, three, use only one planner. Just as important as using a planner is only keeping one. If you have both a paper planner and an app, or multiple planners, the odds are that something will eventually slip between the cracks when you forget to track down your plans in both. Also, having more than one will take up a lot of your time. Four, keep it with you. During the school year, I always have my planner on hand. That way, if I get a new assignment, make plans with friends, or have it scheduled at a doctor's appointment, I can write it down immediately before I forget. You also want to stick with your plans, have a rule, if you write it down, get it done. The way your planner is more, that way your planner is more than a helpful reminder that you could have accomplished today. It's an actual guide to what you will be doing. Six, plan at the beginning of each week or month. At the beginning of every week, new week, sit down and write your activities, classes, and any reminders. Seven, use the days before to-do system. I learned this trick over at Organize My College Life. In your planner, use red pen to mark the day an assignment is due. Write it out in blue pen in two days ahead, black for three to five days ahead, and green for six to nine days ahead. That way, you will always see assignments coming on the horizon and won't ever be surprised by an essay that's due tomorrow. Eight, schedule chores, doing laundry, taking out the trash, you name it. Planning to do this every Sunday will keep your laundry from piling up on the floor or your bin from overflowing. Syllabus tips for staying in college. So, save your syllabi. This is important. If your professor gives you a guide to your what your entire semester is going to look like, don't lose it. Annotate your syllabi. Mark your syllabus with everything you need to remember. 11. Make an assignment list. When I was taking five classes, keeping an assignment list saved my tail quite a few times. Gather your syllabi together and make one long sheet of for every day that an assignment is due. You can see how I do it here. So, like, I you can't see here how I do it, but I have a planner app that lets you put in each class and each what's coming due. It's actually the first one that you, when you look up college planner. Using daily tasks to stay organized in college. So, keep to-do lists. So, keep a to-do list every day. Keep it in your planner, your phone, wherever. The point is that it will help you stay on track. Wake up at the same time every day. Whether you're a morning glory or a late riser, pick a time to wake up every day and stick to it. Often I find that when I oversleep, I feel that my morning has been wasted and I don't want to do much work. Make your bed when you get up. Making your bed will keep your room clean. It will keep you from crawling back in if you're sleepy. Have a consistent schedule. Try to keep a daily or weekly schedule that you'll stick to. I find that I'm a lot less productive when my schedule is all over the place. 16. Figure out your most productive time. Figure out what time of the day you are the most productive. For some people, it's an early morning before breakfast. For others, mid-afternoon or late at night. Uh, stock your backpack. I have a friend who spends 15 minutes a day filling their backpack with what they need to work that day. 
I find that a great time saver is to have my backpack always stocked with pens, my planner, and a water bottle. So in the morning you can just slip in your laptop and a notebook and you're ready to go. Another thing you can do um, to help is to plan your outfit ahead of time. I used to spend forever in the mornings picking my outfit. I used to go to bed with a vague idea of what I'll wear the next day. It helps me save time in the mornings to know what I want. I just pick what's on top. <laughs> Call it good. <laughs> Clean your floor policy. Ditto with the floor again. This is a weak spot for me, but I try not to have any clutter on my floor during the week so that it's easier to get and find what I need. Spend five minutes a day cleaning. Seriously, you will be amazed at what you can do in five minutes. When I'm having a hard time staying motivated to keep organized, these few minutes at a time save me from total chaos. So work tips for staying organized in college. Have a system for taking notes. It doesn't matter what kind of you use. Just make sure that you have a system to stick to it. It will make it easier to review notes later on. Don't question and don't stop yourself while writing. This is how I got my essays done so quickly. Don't worry too much about the quality of your writing while you're at work. I find that I hold myself back endlessly by worrying about a single word or sentence. Let go of your inhibitions and don't be afraid to write a terrible first draft. You can always edit it later. Use a timer, work in bursts of time. Some people swear by 25 minutes. I prefer to work for an hour at a time and then take a longer break. Either way, you're using a timer using it will keep you accountable and prevent you from wandering over to Facebook or Pinterest while you're working. you should be working. Work and play in different areas. I heard the following from a nurse. Bed should be for the three S's, sleep, sickness, and sex, not work. Work at a desk or in a library and reserve your room for bed. Use the 888 method for balancing your life. I heard this tip from the same nurse. It's a way to divide your time to be responsible and still relax. Try to sleep for eight hours a day, spend eight hours working and eight hours for the rest of your life. Time with friends, eating, etc. 27, set your own deadlines. This has saved me countless times when it comes to writing essays. If you have two essays due on the same day, vow to finish one of them on a different day. For example, a week or three days before it's due. This will mean that you have to get started early, but it also means you have you will not have to scramble to finish all your work at the same time when you when the, your actual due dates come around. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little um, tongue tied there. So. They have some, we also have some digital organization for staying organized in college. Um, make yourself a schedule. As I said before, you can use a planner app and stuff like that. Set up email filters. Um, there's an app I've never used called Self Control or Actual Self Control to limit time spent on websites. You can back up your computer using a hard drive. That way, if it crashes, you won't lose all your hard work. Disconnect from the internet for a few hours. Unplugging is a healthy way to curb stress and keep yourself from wasting too much time on the internet. So supplies for staying organized in class. You can get each class a color and then organize your binders and notebooks and everything for that color. So like if you said math was blue, then your blue, everything blue would be for math if you said biology was green and anything green would be for biology. Also keep binders, folders, and or notebooks for each of your classes. Have a system of organizing those binders as well. So tips for keeping your room and desk organized include if you can do the if you take it out put it back rule. Uh, toss duplicates. You don't need two staplers or three rolls of tape. Keep any might needs in your desk drawer rather than on your desktop. Label loose cords. So use masking tape with labels on your cords for camera, iPhone. This way to help you identify after you forgot what you, what they're for. Label your chargers ends in the same washi tape. 
Use a binder clip at the edge of your desk to store your charger ends. You can also keep a whiteboard with reminders for yourself. And then the last thing here is some self-care tips. So sleep, make sure you sleep enough, meditate, yoga, mindfulness, prayer, whatever works for you as well. And go easy on yourself. So that's it. Thanks for listening.